Welcome. I'm Halcyon, and this is the Hug Nation broadcast. Today I've got all sorts of things to talk about. Let's start with, if life gives you lemons, gift lemonade. One of the hardest things to do while you are living your life is to also stay aware of your life. Meaning, while things are happening to you, it is, it is a process of reacting, of getting caught up, and of being in the game as it's happening, forgetting that you're in a game. And one of the, the important things to remember is that that's okay. You want life to be exciting. You want life to be exhilarating. It's like if you're playing soccer and or football for my European friends, and you want to really care about scoring and you want to sweat and push your body and do what you can to stop your opponents and you want to be on your team's side and want you to win and them to lose because that otherwise it, what's the what's the point but if you get so caught up in the game that it is making you sick that you are stressing out and you're like <gasps> Or if you're so focused on beating the other team that you start to hate them and you want to hurt them, you have now crossed over and forgotten that you are playing a game. So we have to live in this place of remembering it's a game enough that we don't go off the edge and forgetting it's a game enough that we care. Most of the time, we forget and we get stressed and we get angry and we get this, you know, all sorts of the emotions that, that make the human experience the human experience. But if we practice more and more, become aware more and more, we can, we can dabble in that place of enjoying the game, enjoying the game. And one of the, the tools that I've used to help your brain snap out is the reminder of classroom or adventure. Everything is a classroom or an adventure, or both. Everything that's happening to you is teaching you something or giving you one of those life experiences that at some point in the future, you will look back and go, um, that was what, how thrilling or how educational. Probably both. It's probably an adventure and a classroom. So I find this to be a very helpful process and a, a tool like classroom or adventure, classroom or adventure. But recently I heard something and was talking with some people and, and they introduced uh, another level to it. Because in both of those situations of classroom or adventure, you are trying to make something out of your experience. You're trying to take your adversity or something, and what can I do? What can I make out of this? What can I take this circumstance, and what can I do with it? What can I, what can I get from it? And it was proposed to me that the purpose is not to figure out what you can get out of each situation that you're in, but what can you give? So the idea of if life gives you lemons, make lemonade, well, that's a, what can I get? What can I make out of the situation? But what if we said, no, I'm going to gift lemonade. What can I take from this situation as an inspiration to see what it is that I have? How can I be a service? How can I take this struggle and turn it into a, a, a canvas for me to gift my individual talents, attention, skills. What can I do in the gifting mindset of making the situation better for others? How can I lift someone else up? That gifting mindset of like, okay, where are the cracks in front of me that I have the ability to fill in this individual circumstance, in this community place, in the lives around me, what can I possibly do 
to lift and elevate. You know, as we raise the sea, all boats, something, something. Um, and I love, I love that shift of, of going from a, what can I make out of this to what can I, or how can I give? When life gives you lemons, gift lemonade.